Hi friends and golfers, Eric Silver, BJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. I want to wish everybody a happy new year. 2023 is upon us. So a lot of people make new year's resolutions during this time. Um, I normally don't. I try to make them whenever I need them. I don't wait for the year to start, but this is a very interesting year for me because it coincides with me being able to start and hit balls again, getting the release from the doctor after hand surgery. So first time in a couple of years, I'll be able to have all my fingers and hand my whole hand on it, it'll be interesting to hit balls again. So I'm going to commit to what I tell all of my students, the 15 to 30 minutes of indoor slow motion work um, indoors. And I'm also going to do another one of my speed programs to get my speed back up since it's been so long. I probably won't start that until my hands a little more healed for probably another month. But after that, I'll do it. So I did a, a little, another video is a short one. I want to make this one a little longer and get into what is it that we need to do for this time of 15 to 30 minutes. Okay. So it, it, it's all based on what is going on with your golf swing. But for those of you who come to see me, you know, I'm very big into the four fundamentals of golf that I think are the four fundamentals, not like they were back then. Cause we know things are a little different than they used to be now. So one is the number one fundamental is this. It is how our body moves. Can we make it move efficiently and powerfully in our golf swing? If we can't, if we're one of these like this, or if we're up here like this, whatever we do, we have massive inefficiencies within it. Okay. So what has, what has to happen if I just say, I go like this, I have to figure out my body has to figure out how to slide back. I'm going to guarantee to scoop it because I'm going to be back here. I can't come in with huge shaft lean with that. I'll miss the ball. So our subconscious thanks, thankfully does a lot of things for us. Um, so for those of you who see me, you know, that's number one, number two is impact. Okay. So let's hit this ball clean with compression and understand how to hit it. So drills for that, uh, for those of you who see me, obviously, you know what a lot of the ones I use are, but I want some real, we have to build up in our golf swing. We don't get to just go to these full swings at full speed and then we're ready to go. It never works because once we go full speed, we're in reaction mode. So a lot of drills are going to be what I call nine to three. So you're going to get about here to here and nine to three. I usually mean with your lead arm is about nine. Trail arms about nine or three, three o'clock there. So a lot of good drills for impact. You know, kind of like lean forward, club back here to start and here, just kind of rotate through and feel what it's like to get your hands right through ahead of it. Now I have track man and I can see, I didn't hit that that flush, but my low point was six in front of it, tack angle negative six. So most people I see that come in that are not really good golfers, they'll come to me and they'll be like this, trying to get the ball up in the air. Okay. Now it doesn't mean that you personally are trying to, you may understand how it works, but your subconscious is okay. That's why it's going to be so pertinent for you to learn to stand here and learn what it's like to stay on the left side and start getting some compression. Okay. And hitting this ball flush, learning that it's rotation, not the arms and the hands. Okay. Now I'm not saying we don't use these arms and hands, right? But we want to rotate. We want the dog to be in control of the tail, not the tail in control of the dog. Okay. And I'd say over 90% is the tail. Okay. So, how do we learn to do that? Well, once again, it starts here. I have to learn what is it like to take this club away with my body? Most people are like this or something. They whip it in behind. You know, they want to see as people will go, okay, I check it here. But what happens when I check it here and I turn? Now it's back there, right? So a couple of drills I love to do is like the belly drill like this, which we don't have to go far, but you can start to feel our lower body, what it does to take this away. So I feel like we have our lower body and then I feel like we get our oblique to really turn to help get this behind us. We can make a nice strong swing from there. You'll be surprised how much your speed will come up. And so if those two are good, if we can go into those, then we start working on making sure club path and face angle are right. Okay. Cause that is going to be the difference in whether the ball goes right, left and how much it curves. Okay. So if you're working with me, obviously I'm going to work on your club path. If you're in, if we're doing impact, if it's really, really off, if you're way over the top or hugely from the inside, because that brings in the consequences of coming way behind the ball or way over. So getting better at golf by committing that 15 to 30 minutes a day is how I started this off. Right. One of the best things you can do, whatever your drills, whatever you're working on. Okay. is rehearsing these modes. I got a mirror right in front of me. 
we've learned that way, okay? We don't learn by going, I, my whole downswing was reaction there, okay, to what I did. So what, what would I want to do? Say I'm hitting balls in here, and I'm like, okay, you know, I feel pretty good about my rotation right now, let's just say, but I will go like this, let's say here, and then hit one, okay? So maybe a one-to-one -one ratio, but for those of you who don't have this, it doesn't even matter because they've done studies that prove hitting the ball and having feedback like this on my track man is probably not good for most because then they start worrying about results, okay? So for most of you, it's gonna be how do we go get a nice turn starting here, right? So I love to start here with people. So feel this, kind of get this club if we can, matching our back angle up. And we get to P6, see the club is not like this like a lot of people do. Because if I come like this, I'm going to cast for sure, okay? So I'd say the moral of the story is this, slow motion golf swings with feedback. Because remember this, if we're not using any feedback via some kind of feel like, let's say, an impact bag, mirror, camera, something else of the sort, some sort of training, if we don't have any of that, we're just exercising, folks. That's it because our, we aren't training ourselves in any way of what's right, what's wrong. And if you do go to the range, I highly suggest you do something in between every shot, okay, to reinforce to yourself what you're trying to do. So if I go to the range, I just hit one perfectly awful, okay? And the next one I hit great. I just, you know, this is what I see typically out there with people. They'll go like this, you know, hit their swing. Oh, geez, that's awful. So you grab a ball, gonna rake it in there, Hit it. Okay, so let's say my second one was good. And I tried to make those look as bad as I could. What did I learn of those two? What would I learn? Zero. My body had nothing. What, what did I have to base anything on? I didn't, okay? It was just like, even though, let's say the second one was better or good, I don't, you know, I don't know. That, well, yeah, the second one was okay. But it's still, I didn't learn what was good or bad. So let's say I hit that first one really bad and I go, okay. What am I really working on? I'm really working on getting wide, let's just say, because I'm usually like this with the trail arm. Okay, so I do a move like that. Okay, I feel like I need another one. Okay, so then I'll hit a ball or just swing or something like that. So it's slow motion moves integrating into you what to do. So. Don't bypass the most important part either. This right here, figuring out how to turn, okay? We don't, we don't start, we don't move our mass over here. We are putting pressure into our trail heel. And then that way we can move nicely on the way through, okay? All right, so I'll leave it at that. Hopefully that shows you a way you can do it. And believe me, this is proven to work better than outside hitting balls four days a week for an hour and a half, okay? So I've seen it over and over. The people that I work with online all over the world that commit to this, the gains they make are absolutely incredible. And I know you can do that as well. So make the commitment this year to 15 minutes a night. And here's the deal. Let's say you're on a business trip and you come back and you're just tired, you don't have time. Get in front of the mirror before you go to bed and just do, maybe just do three. Just so you do something that day to re to tell your body what, what it's like to make that move, okay? A few of them. Just try it, okay? And I know you'll be successful. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching Eric Schilbert, EGS Golf, EGSGolf.com, and above all, have a safe and happy new year. Thank you.